From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable Fae folk. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Lon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethon. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each Tarata fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Tarata do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. What do you think this one is then? Alpha, Dorani, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. One of the human women looks our main to me. And in good shape, these are made women, wound tighter than a Barani crossbow. All right then, make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
Hoover. Run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow, it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. We'll have questions for you. Oh my, you don't know. Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deo, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far in them. Not even during the invasion, I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him! <laughs> Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the top. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention, the Well of Souls. Imagine an end to all, an end to death.
can find anything useful. Wait! Do you hear something? More to offer! Another Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. Of the god easily corrected.
Pink's blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Incredible! What are you? completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. That's what I intend to find out. She came out of the well. What? And she better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those Twatha make another poop. Ah, late armor. Nothing protects quite like layers. of 
of impervious metal. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawafa here. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tawafa realize what you are. You'll need them. We can't risk you getting killed. Your proof that the well can work. Don't you realize what that means? Just keep going past the top of the well. Hughes will be there in his study. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. through the Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the well of souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <coughs> Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tawafa have breached the lab! That inside the... Ah. <coughs> Got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path of the town of 
find Aga. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> 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 Told them we needed more guards.